Everyone makes mistakes. We are all human. However, you'd probably never made a mistake as bad as this. These huge oversights and mistakes have cost these people millions. Here's a list of the absolute most expensive mistakes made in history. But before we begin, ensure to subscribe to Inside Tens. Smash the bell icon before you make an expensive mistake too. Let's start with number 10. Mercedes-Benz bought Chrysler. Damien Benz acquired Chrysler for $37 billion in 1998 but sold the company nine years later for only $7 billion. Though it was sold to investors as an equal merger, it became clear that Damien Benz was calling the shots. In 2001, stocks rose to $108.62 a share. However, rough times were shortly ahead. Chrysler reported a loss of $1.5 billion despite launching 10 new vehicles that year in 2006. Chrysler filed for bankruptcy in 2008 and in 2009 was famously bailed out by the Treasury Department. Number 9. The Spanish Submarine That Couldn't Resurface The Spanish government put $2.2 billion into a new submarine called the Isaac Peral. In 2013, it wasn't even finished yet, the submarine was already extremely heavy. With the vessel being this heavy, it ran the risk of not being able to re-emerge after submerging itself underwater. The engineers were able to trace the issue back to an easy miscalculation when drafting the design that someone put a decimal point in the wrong place. Luckily, the mistake was caught before the submarine was built. Number 8. Exxon Valdez, $2.5 billion this destructive oil spill did considerable damage to marine wildlife not to mention the costs of cleanups and repairs. It had been widely reported that the captain Joseph Hazelwood had been drinking heavily the night before the tanker crashed. In 1989, the California-bound tanker spilled close to 760,000 barrels of oil in Prince William Sound off the Alaska coast. As a result, tourism dropped significantly, as many as 900 bald eagles, 250,000 seabirds, and 1,000 harlequin ducks died. Even after 12 years, traces of oil could be found at various beaches. Number 7. Morgan Stanley lost $9 billion due to Howie Hubbler. Few traders have messed up as badly as Howie Hubbler. Hubbler bought some risky credit default swaps for $2 billion and sold some rock-solid collateralized debt organization CDOs for $16 billion. The only problem was that AAA-rated CDOs wasn't nearly as secure as he thought. Actually, they weren't secure at all. Eventually, Morgan Stanley had enough and forced Hubbler to resign. But the damage was already done. After the market crashed, Stanley was only able to recover $7 billion of a $16 billion loss. Number 6. 2002 Prestige Oil Spill – $12 billion Yet another oil spill disaster? Although the lower bracket, this oil tanker managed to cause billions of dollars worth of damage off the coast of Galicia. Trapped and getting battered inside a large tropical storm, the prestige fuel tanks ruptured. Attempts were made to dock in Spain, France, and Portugal, but all requests were denied. Ironically, criminal charges were brought against the ship's captain for failure to comply with Spain's demand to restart the prestige engines and steam offshore. The damaged vessel eventually split and lives were lost. Number 5. In 2000, Blockbuster could have bought Netflix. Before video streaming services, you used to have to go to video stores to rent movies. Blockbuster was the biggest of these video store chains until Netflix came along. Reed Hastings, the co-founder of Netflix, met with John Antioco, the CEO of Blockbuster, to propose a partnership. In 2000, Netflix would run Blockbuster's online brand, and Blockbuster would promote Netflix in stores. Antioco and his team laughed at Hastings. Nearly 10 years later, Blockbuster went bankrupt, and Netflix is currently worth $15.8 billion. Wow. Number 4. Excite could have bought Google. Excite was the second most popular search engine after Yahoo in 1999. 
Google, then called Backrub, was a promising new competitor in the search engine market. Excite wanted to buy the company for $750,000, but passed when Google insisted that its technology replace Excite. Users would find the information they wanted and move on too quickly, and Excite would lose precious revenue. In 2004, Excite sold to Yahoo, and recent estimates value Google at $167 billion. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe, smash that bell and like button. I only will go on with this video if you do. Number 3. Russia Sold Alaska to the US The last frontier used to belong to Russia. Alexander II didn't think much of Alaska. The rough weather made it hard to farm, and high transportation costs kept it from being especially profitable as a trading port. In 1867, he sold the colony to the US for $7.2 million. Very few Russians had explored the land's interior up until that point. Otherwise, they would have noticed that what a big mistake this sale was. The US got away with a robbery during negotiations. Alaska is rich in natural resources like gold and oil. A century and 20 years later, economists estimate Alaska's oil and gas reserves alone are worth $200 billion. It's incredible. Number 2. Chernobyl Reactor Disaster – $235 Billion This catastrophic nuclear disaster remains fresh on the minds of those who can remember when it happened in the spring of 1986. Often referred to as the biggest socio-economic accident in peacetime history, the incident at Ukraine's Chernobyl plant was blamed on operators who violated plant's procedures and did not know the safety requirements needed. Faulty equipment had not been repaired and four reactors went out of control, leading to the meltdown. Two employees died immediately along with 48 firefighters who were exposed to radiation. The death toll from this event, including those who died from cancer years later, is estimated to be high as 1 million. Number 1. Ronald Wayne sold his Apple stock for $800. Steve Jobs is a well-known name, and most people are familiar with Steve Wozniak, but many are unfamiliar with Apple's third founder, Ronald Wayne. Wayne drew Apple's logo and served as an intermediary between the two innovative Steves. Jobs' personality clashed with Wayne, which eventually prompted him to sell his 10% stake in the company for $800 in 1976. This decision prevented him from becoming a multi-billionaire as Apple is currently worth over $1 trillion. What would you have done if any of this happened to you? Or which was your biggest mistake in life? Let us know in the comment section and also subscribe, like, and join the notification squad not to miss out on other interesting videos. See you soon!